Good morning. My name is Lorraine from District 32, and I have got the absolute pleasure of having a conversation today with Michael Worthington of the 101 Connection. How are you, Michael? I'm very good, thank you, Lorraine. And how are you today? I am also very well, thank you. It's nice to take some time out from the keyboard and have a discussion <laughs> with a human. <laughs> That's always good. Yes. So, Michael, what we're going to do, so as I can paint the picture for listeners, is we're going to be talking about, you're going to share with us a couple of case studies on mm. how using radio and podcasting can have an effect on the business growth, right? What it can yeah. do for you. So you're going to give us a couple of examples of that to paint the picture for us. But for listeners who don't know who you are, which I'm sure will be nobody, right? You're so famous. <laughs> but just, just tell us, Michael, what is the one-on-one -on -one connection? Okay, so the one-on-one -on -one connection is an online radio station and its pure purpose is to help people become more successful. It's connecting them to success. So for that, we get the best in the world with their different shows, whether it's in health, wealth, or relationships um, and business. And and these are guys, you know, that have been very successful. When I say guys, I mean men and yep. women. That's just my colloquialism. Um, that, that actually educate us. And then we mix that with some great music just so we get a bit of a mental break from all the info that is coming through. You know, we've got guys on there like Anthony Pacino from $80,000 in debt living in the back of a van to now with a $70 million uh, property portfolio. You know, we have Tony Robbins. I guess he doesn't need any introduction. And and people like and people like that. And there is some very, very successful people around the world. And they share their information on the station from everyone from a startup thinking their first million dollars to people getting to the first 100 million, 200 million and, and upwards. Mm, that's what mm. the station's all about. Nice. And I think it's refreshing to have a bit of a mix. You know, when we've got a bit of a mix on there, it opens you up to things that you don't go looking for. Yes. And I use all the independent music artists because that's just my passion is to help them. I figured the other guys have already got their, their careers sorted out. These people are going growing, so we give them a platform for their, for their music. And they're absolutely fantastic. They blow me away. Yeah. Absolutely. When else do we get a chance to listen? And yes. who, who are your listeners and where are they, Michael? Because you've got a worldwide audience, don't you? Yes, we do. Uh, so as of yesterday, we have around about 102,000 listeners per day on the station. 60% wow. uh, of that audience is Australian, just purely because we, we're here and this is where we do our marketing. And at a rough guess, and I say rough because you never know, because it depends which server people are using, but probably at about 60%, I would say 70 to 75% are here in Perth. And that's just logical. We've been going for eight or nine weeks, and this is where we do most of our marketing. But they're 25 to 55-year-old professionals. Beautiful, fantastic. Mm. I love the I love the accuracy of the detail. Of <laughs> Thanks to Google there, Analytics, it's just yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So, Michael, I mean, well, I've spoken to you on another interview, if, if anyone else is interested about, you know, the benefits of podcasting, how you can use it, how you can get involved in really easy steps. But for this one, what I wanted to do was just showcase a couple of clients who've worked with you and how that has helped their business. So I think you were going to talk about a well-known gentleman called John. Are you yes. going to talk about John first? I am going to talk about Mr. Hughes. Yeah, John yeah. Hughes, the famous car dealer from Perth, Western Australia. Absolutely. So, yeah. so tell us about John then. Why is he working with you? How is he working with you? How is that changing his business? You know, how is that getting him more customers? Okay, so, you know, John Hughes, no matter how big these people are, they still, they still realize that marketing and advertising is the way. So John, I think he's about 83 right now. So the online world is a, is a totally foreign world to John, but he knows he's a very smart businessman. This is where he should be. His daughter, on the other hand, knows all about online, and she's really smart as well. And I guess what they look at is they want to connect on a very personal level with their customers. I think that's what's made John Hughes very successful. He used to take out two-page ads in the paper just with referrals from customers, just testimonials from customers, not even a car ad in sight. It was just purely that. So he is a very strong advocate that if he can build no like, and trust and you go choose him first, then you'll buy a car from him. And so podcasting and on an internet radio station 
allows him to tap into that audience, that 25 to 55 year old bracket, where he knows they've got disposable income that's quite easy for them to get loans on cars and so forth. And it's also a very fast way for them on a train or a bus that they can be watching their phones go, oh, yes, yeah, let him look at that and click the button and go straight through his website. He's looking at ease of access to him. So when people are listening to him, they're clicking the button, they go straight to his website, they can decide, they can have a look at the options. So that for him in his marketing mix is very, very powerful. And you'll find he's on all the radio stations, not just online radio stations and offline radio stations. Online gives him the benefit of that immediate access to himself and his website that a traditional offline radio can't do and offline TV can't do either. So it just puts the power right into the hands of his customers. So that's why he's really, really keen on it. And he's and he proves it works. So on his, he's had, I think it was 94,000 people looked at his advert, which means he glanced it for two to three seconds. So I always go, ignore that bit. Because uh, that's, just, that's just Google for you. It's the click-through rate. So off that, uh, as of yesterday, he had 2,447 people had actually clicked. And we're talking in a six-week period, click through and gone to his website, which is about a 2.6% average, I think, uh, on click-through rate, which is very high. So that power to go, they've heard me, they've glanced, but two, almost 2,500 people went click, I'll go to your website. That's a, that's a massive number of people going through that he can now engage with from his side, having a proper website constructed and actually engage and have the conversation with them. You know? So that's why he does it. He knows how powerful it is to connect directly and build that relationship really, really quick. And I think it's and also useful. It yeah, it's very powerful. It's useful for us as business owners as well to look and see what are successful people doing? What are successful business owners doing? And copy that. Yep. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, you know, you, you, you know, Alex Samosi, he's on our station. So Alex started off as a personal fitness trainer in a gymnasium, started podcasting, started educating people. And uh, this year, I think he's just broken being worth 200 million from podcasting, built his personal and business brand. Nice. Made his company's worth more made his products and services with a perceived higher value and customers just choose him over anybody else. So he runs a company now called acquisition.com. He just buys companies and purely on his reputation and his branding, he can now build them and turn them into profitable enterprises. Yeah. Or even bigger profitable enterprises than what they may have been from podcasting. I love these stories. You know, they're so inspirational. If anyone was sitting on the fence, you know, on whether this yeah. can work, um, so thank you. You know, John Hughes is still out there doing his thing and still yes. getting into new trends, exploring all things digital. You know, he's definitely um, a smart business owner. He, he, he is, and he, you can see where the trends are and the connections are. You know, you, you get often asked, that's fine for him. And, and yeah, it's good. And it is a true statement when someone says, but he's already got a brand so I can see yeah. how it magnifies. And that is true. So if you're a normal business owner, I had a cute kinesiologist, and looking at building a business, there's lots of kinesiologists around, so you've got to differentiate yourself. So we combine adverts with three to five minute educational uh, pieces, and those educational pieces are just the top reason why you should listen to this. And it's really about your health, your personal uh, well-being, how you align yourself, removing that stress from your life. So she's able to actually list a lot of these um top tips as we would call them that might sound a little bit crude but it's just those pieces of information mm -hmm. people listen to and get real value from and then when they hear the advert they go oh i remember karen oh it's, it's her yeah oh i was meaning to do something and so the educational piece is the no like and trust the advert is the call to action so if you're going to go on an online radio whether it's mine or somebody else's it doesn't matter or you're going to do your own mix do a mixture, do the pure education where you're not asking for anything, you're just giving, and we hear this all the time in business, and then the actual advert is the call to action. And that's mm. that's where the power of the combination. So she went from leaving the kidneys, just going, oh, I've got no bookings, to now having a full studio and looking at opening another two studios. Wow. Just, and that's taken, I think, 
We we actually launched just before Christmas 2023, and now we're just at the end of February. I called my official launch January, so I was still sorting myself out. But she was one of the first ones that said, I'll just give it a go. I'll just see. i got no idea, but let me just try. And we spent two hours, devised some content, um, and that was it. And that's been the result for her. Wow. And it is the result for most people as well. Yeah, And I did run a radio station before. I did it all wrong last time. But people who were coming on it were certainly getting some great results. Yeah. yeah. I just designed it wrong. And sometimes you've got to go, that's the wrong design. I'm working seven days a week, 24 hours a day. This is crazy. Stop that. Wind back. Okay, rebuild. <laughs> yeah. Learn. So when people say, oh, it's easy. No, no, no. I've made mistakes as well. <laughs> and you got to love that though, right? Everything's easier and faster and more effective second time around. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you've earned your stripes. <laughs> I know you go, well, I was mad. What was I doing it that way for? Yeah. And people go, couldn't you see? No, I couldn't. I just got this idea and went, but, and then, but sometimes you have to take a real step back and go, okay. so what can that? I know what it is now. Let me rebuild. And I think there's a lot of business owners with a bit of bravery that go, you know what? And I was listening to Peter Butler give a talk, being from District 32 with Smarter Websites. There you go, Peter. There's a quick plug for yeah. you. <laughs> but what I like about him is honesty when he analyzes people's websites. But it takes a bit of courage for people to say, okay, I'll get that because we don't like to be told our stuff's not good. But there's a quick lesson. He can re take them back, rebuild, relaunch, and, and that is a pathway. And what podcasting does is allow you to do that. You may be stuck. You may be going, I can't grow this. i tell you, the only reason you can't grow it is it's your branding. Apple, mm -hmm. Nike, all of them, they could not grow if they didn't do their branding correctly. And they've all been stuck. Steve Jobs got stuck at the start going down to trade fairs, just trying to sell a, a kit computer that no one wanted. So he wanted it pre-built. So he, he had to go back and go, okay, I don't build kits anymore. I actually build the actual machine and give them a ready machine. But once he started telling the story, and I'm sure everyone's seen him, uh, talks by Steve Jobs, if you actually listen to him, he's doing a podcast from the stage. A podcast is a story that builds your personal and business brand. Yeah. That's all the podcast is, and whether you do it from stage, on a YouTube, on a traditional offline radio, on my radio, you know, or wherever you want to host this thing. If you treat it that way, I am going to educate my customers and show them that I'm the right person. So the way I do that is give them free uh, education and free value. Michael, I love what you do. I love your work. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I just think it's, we just have to provide more avenues for business owners out there. You know, life can be business owners. Is, that's the hard path, right? We take the, but it's a difficult road. Um, and I think, yeah, the more opportunities, the better. Now, I do know that you can help people who are starting to explore the idea of podcasts and who might have some content or valuable content that they would mm. like to share. And you help people just put their toe in the water of that. Can you just share a little bit about that again, please? Yeah, so what happens is, as I said, is, uh, just to recap, so if you're doing podcasts, let's go abroad and you just go, okay, I'll produce one hour show and I'll go on Podbean, I'll go on those platforms. A lot of content, a lot of create, a lot of creation to do that. Then you go, I tell you what, I'll be a guest podcaster, I'll do a half hour script, learn my bit of a story, and I'll go that way. And then they come to people like us and go, I've never done this before, but I can do three or four minute talks if I knew how to do it. Well, of course, you actually do know. You just need to know the sequence that it's put in. And that's what we do. We spend a couple of hours, pull that out for them, show them how their educational content that they can have, and then how they can actually distribute that and then combine that with advertising. There's the value, there's the call to action. The two are separate, but they combine and they compound the effect. And, and I guess some people get a bit of a surprise when they talk to me because I instantly I'm going, so what is it you want to do with the business? because if you just want to do podcasting for ego hey i'm guilty i did yeah. it you know i thought this is a big thrill i love doing this look at me <laughs> i've got so many viewers <laughs> uh no money and you know i did a tv <laughs> show in, in africa 12 million viewers every night through africa through star set made no money you yeah. know but the ego was like look at me <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i'm pretty quick with business owners and i always say i don't care i what i mean is i i I actually try to be honest with them. And I want to see where they want to take their business because my attitude is if you do this, you take your business from an owner-operator business to an enterprise. 
So if you're prepared for the influx of business coming in, your mind shift has to go, okay, I'm going to get other people doing what I, I do right now, and I'm going to work on the business no longer in it, and I'm going to grow this into an enterprise, which means your business goes being worth two times its you know, of, you know uh, profits to five to seven times its profit. And that's what we mean about building the value of a business up. And I will talk that through them initially because some people go, whoa, that's not what I want. I just want three or four more clients. And that's yeah. fine for some people. And so that's an honest conversation before you go down this path. Podcasting will change how you're going to do your business. And you need to have that talked about up front and if it's something you actually want to do. And for the listeners, you know, we can see the value of podcasting and working with yourself um, very much so. And we're now working with you so that you can interview our guest speakers, our sponsors yes. to make sure that they get that experience, that they get the um, exposure they're looking for. But they can also open the door to podcasting for them in their businesses. So, um, yeah, we... It's, it's right up there in our um, estimations of getting in the marketing mix and keeping up with trends. You know, we mm. sometimes just do what we've always done instead of yeah, trying you new know, things. And, and the interviews we've done so far have been absolutely fantastic. You know, mm. people who have never been interviewed in their life are just going, well, that was easy. And yeah. was that half an hour already? You know, and, you know, I've done, th I've done well over a thousand interviews around the world. So I do make it very easy for people. And I think when they get that flavor, they kind of go, wow, next time District 32 bring out a book, I can actually submit a chapter because I actually know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. It'll change your world. It really does. You just got to be prepared for, do you want your world to change? Wow. That's a nice <laughs> note to end on, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll use that one. Michael, how, how do people get in contact with you? Okay, so the easiest way, obviously, for District 32 members is contact yourself or Rhea yeah. or, or Dean, one of the great staff at District 32. That's the easiest. Or they can just write to me at michael at mediagroup.com.au or just go to the mediagroup.com.au website. It'll take you straight through to the radio station. There's contact details there. But have a listen and see what you, what you think of it. Yeah, we'd love you to be a new listener. You can join our other 100,000. We're aiming yeah. for a million. So jump on nice. board and help us get there. <laughs> nice. You got to have the goal, right? The BHAG? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Michael, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I very much look forward to coming on your show myself. And absolutely. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you for sharing your time. Love your work. Great. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you.